My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 51 of the 120 Days Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, I shall be introducing matrices and determinants. Matrices is a number or letters arranged in a rectangular form and enclosed in a bracket or parenthesis. Now, this is a typical example of matrix. In this case, we have letters arranged in a rectangular form and enclosed in a bracket. Now, in episode number 44, I took you through binary operation. And I said, when you operate a number with the identity, you will get the number. And when you operate a number with the inverse, you will get the identity. There are four things I did not mention in that class. And I will do that today as it also relates to matrices and determinants. The properties of binary operation are identity property, commutative property, associative property, distributive property, and closure property. What Jam expects you to know under these properties is if E star A is equals A star E is equals A, what property of binary operation is this? Now, E is identity. You operate a number with the identity, and at the end, you get the number. You operate a number with the identity, and at the end, you get the number. That is simply identity property. When you operate a number with the identity, you will get the number. And commutative property states that A star B is equals B star A, which means if you break if A is 2 and B is 3, if you use A to operate B, you will get the same answer as if you use B to operate A. So any of the other, then you get the same thing. In mathematics generally, you notice that addition is commutative. If I say 2 plus 3, this is 5. If I say 3 plus 2, this is 5. So, irrespective of the one that comes first, the answer remains the same. That is commutative property. And in, metric, uh, in binary operation, addition and multiplication are commutative. Subtraction is not commutative. Now, look at matrices. Commutative property of matrices states that if you have two matrices, A plus B should be the same thing as B plus A. And addition of matrices is commutative, but multiplication of, of matrices is not commutative. If you have two matrices, A times B is not always equals to B times A. How about associative properties? Associative properties of binary operations states that if you have A star B in bracket star C, it should give you the same thing as A star B star C. There was a question we solved where you have something star something star something. And I told you to solve something like this. First of all, deal with the bracket. Then you get everything here. You use it to star the third number. So, if you have A star B first, then you star C. This will give you the same thing as you solve B star C first, then you star it with A. If that gives you the same answer, then that is associative property. Also for matrices, the associative property of matrices states that A plus B plus C should give you A plus B plus C. For matrices and determinants, addition is so, so, um, associative. For matrices and determinants, multiplication 
is associative. But multiplication is not commutative for matrices. Meanwhile, for binary operation, multiplication is commutative. Addition is also commutative. Now, distributive property of binary operation. If you have A star, then B star C in brackets, this should be the same thing as A star B phase, then star B star C. Then closure property. If A is an element of P and B is an element of A, in conclusion, A operation B is an element of P. Or A operation B will be an element of P. It is closed over another. Matrices. John expects you to know the algebra of matrices not exceeding 3 by 3. What is 3 by 3 matrices? When you are naming matrices, you name the row, you add by, and you name the column. This is a typical matrix. The values you see from here, this way, they are referred to as the row. In this example, this is row 1, and the elements of row 1 are 2 and 4. This is row 2. The members of row 2 are 6 and 8. Then if you are looking from the top, you are looking at the columns. This is column 1 and this is column 2. The members of column 1 are 2 and 6. And the members of column 2 are 4 and 8, like this. To name the matrix, you first of all name the number of rows. You put by, then you name the number of columns. Look at here. Counting the number of rows, we have one row and we have another row. So this is two rows. Then you add by. Then columns, we have one column, another column. This is two columns. This is two by two matrix. Or you say two like this. The times represent by. When a matrix has only one row, it is referred to as a row matrix. And when a matrix has only one column, it is referred to as a column matrix. If you have something like this, 2, 3, 4, this is a row matrix. Row. And looking at this matrix, it has just one row and it has three columns. 1, 2, 3. This is 1 by 3 matrix. But since it has just a row, it is a row matrix. If you are giving a matrix like this, 2, 3, 4, this matrix has only one column. This is a column matrix. How many rows does it have? Three rows. 1, 2, and 3. This is a 3 by 1 matrix or a column matrix. Now, Jam doesn't expect you to know the algebra of matrices exceeding 3 by 3. Stop at 3 by 3. What is 3 by 3 matrix? 3 by 3 matrix is matrices or a matrix where you have 3 rows and 3 columns. Matrix is singular. Matrices is plural. If you have 1, 2, 4, 3, 6, 5, 2, 1, 1, like this. This matrix has row 1, row 2, row 3. It has column 1, column 2, column 3. And to name the matrix, you write the rows first. 3 rows, then you say by. How many columns? 3. This is the maximum matrix. Jump expect you to know they are Algebra. Algebra means how to add matrices. How to add 2 by 2 matrices, other lower matrices, how to add 3 by 3 matrices, and you should stop at 3 by 3. Do not learn how to add 4 by 4 matrices, or how to subtract 4 by 4, or how to multiply 4 by 4, or how to subtract 4 by 4. No. Stop at 3 by 3. When it comes to algebra of matrices, then Jump expects you to know the determinants of matrices not exceeding 3 by 3. You can know the determinant of 2 by 2 matrices, but don't go above 3. Stop at determinant of 3 by 3 matrices. If you go above here, 
you are deceiving yourself. This is the limit Jam wants you to know. That is the essence of the Jam syllabus. To tell you where not to exceed. Then, the third thing Jam expects you to know under matrices and determinant is inverse of 2 by 2 matrices. Stop at inverse of 2 by 2 matrices. Jam doesn't expect you to know inverse of 3 by 3 matrices. If you are learning inverse of 3 by 3 matrices, you are either wasting time or you are learning. If you have enough time to spare, fine. But if you've not covered other things and you say that you want to dedicate yourself to learning inverse of 3 by 3 matrices in preparation for jump, you are studying out of point. And this is one of the reasons a lot of people fail jump. You want to impress people, you want to learn more, you want to learn deep. Then you keep wasting your time on the things that are not required at all. So this is everything Jam expects you to know on that matrices and determinants. So before we get to the end of episode number 56, we would have been familiar with all of these matrices and determinants topics. Matrices can be added and subtracted. Matrices can also be multiplied. Multiplication of matrices is not commutative. However, it is associative. A matrix multiplication is distributive over addition and subtraction. To add or subtract matrices, they must have the same number of rows and columns. Two matrices can be added or subtracted if and only if. In mathematics, IFF stands for if and only if. So, they can be added or subtracted if and only if they have the same number of rows and columns. And how do you add or subtract matrices? You add the corresponding elements. If you have this matrix and you have this matrix, to add the two matrices, this A here is in the same position as 4. You say A plus 4, B is in, this, in the same position as minus 8. You say B plus minus 8, then C plus 6, and D plus 7. You add the elements that are standing in similar position. The members of matrices are referred to as elements of the matrix. And for multiplication, two matrices can be multiplied together only when the number of columns in the first is equal to the number of rows in the second. The number of columns in the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows in the second. This is it. If you have a matrix like this, this is the number of rows and this is the number of columns. The number of columns in the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. If you have, this has two columns, and if you have another matrix, 2, 4, 5, 6, 4, 1. This is a 2 by 2 matrix, while this is a 2 by 3 matrix. 2 by 2. You notice that the number of columns in this matrix, 2, is equal to the number of rows in this matrix. This has 2 rows. Even if the number of columns is different from the number of rows in the first one, or the number of columns in the first matrix is different from the number of columns, in the second matrix, provided that the number of columns in this first one is equal to the number of rows in the second one, then these matrices can be multiplied. And equal matrices are matrices that have corresponding elements to be the same. If you have matrix A, B, C, D, and you have another matrix 4, minus 8, 6, and 7, they can both be equal if A is equal to 4 and B is equals minus 8. Then C is equals 6 and D is equals 7. And a matrix is said to be zero or zero matrix when all the elements are zero. Everything in the matrix are 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0. Then we have triangular matrix. A matrix is said to be triangular if all the elements that are not zero in the matrix they form a triangle. Look at this matrix. You have zero here, you have zero here, you have zero here, then you have other elements. If you remove the ones that are zero, like this, what do you form? 
you get something like this. So this is a triangular matrix. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode is to introduce you to matrices and determinants. Nothing more and nothing less. From the next episode, we shall be solving live questions on the matrices and we shall be looking at determinants of matrices. I will try to make them as simple as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found this episode interesting. See you in the next episode. And don't forget to get the Flash Tenance Jam application because it will really help you to play with questions. See ya.